just me and my guitar Hey, what's happening guys? Mark in a workshop again on Mark's Aquatics Today's little episode, I thought we'd talk quickly about I've got some of the plants for the uh, for the aquascape They've come today, we've got some of the babies tears there We've got five, I think one, two, three, four, four, four packets of baby's tears. That's the Cuba, and um, we've got a we've got about six bags of the um, of the hair grass, the dwarf hair grass as well, which we're going to do in the middle of the tank. As you can see it there. So they're going to go. We're going to have some rock work up on both sides, and we're going to have a nice big carpet, maybe an odd couple of stones right through and get it looking like a right nice little landscape which is going to be nice now if you saw that there I'm going to talk about that in a second but first I'll say we got six six of those so we got those going under the light there so they're still in the old vitro whatever it is or in the gel when they come they got little gel on the bottom you see so they're all in like a little gel they're grown in trays or in small pots and uh, it's beautiful and green, really nice cuttings and specimens we've got here, there's no dead but well, when you get them you've got to wash all this off before you actually plant, okay? but we'll get through that, we'll get to that when we get the, the rest of the media, I haven't got the media, you sent me a couple of free ones here as well they looks like dwarf sage or dwarf sword, I think they're dwarf swords and um, we've got something else here, which I'm not sure of. It's got something written on the bag, but I think it's been rubbed off. Now, nah, can't make that one out, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to research that one. But anyway, the wife says to me today, come on, love, we're going to go to Ikea. And I was like, oh, you're joking. And I was all ready to do stuff in the workshop here. And um, she says, come down with me. There's loads of stuff down there. You might find something interesting. You never know. I thought, oh, okay then, it's the weekend, got to spend time with the family, it's important stuff as well. And I went down there, and it, I'll tell you what, there's some brilliant stuff down that shop, there really is. But I came across this little hydroponic section, and it's got these little lamps in it, and that was 27 quid, that was. I thought, that looks like a really good, and it's four, as you can see on the package in there, you get... A little hood as well, and that's four pound. Nice little steel powder coated um, lid, which this screws into, and it's four little hydroponics in your kitchen. You know when you plant your vegetables and what have you, and you can have them growing inside your house. But these make absolutely amazing grow lamps for your your aquariums as well. They're a full spectrum LED. They've got nice big ballasts on them as well. And they're gonna have to push out the old lumens, so um and the power rating on them is pretty cool. I haven't really looked into it much or read into it much at the moment. I'll have a quick look down the shop. But I'll have another study later. But I've um, I'm gonna rig one up on the other tank. The the TMC tile that I had over the tank you're looking at there. I've already rigged one up, you can see it's working over this tank here. And it's a fantastic light and it's nice off, it's about a foot. I'll just show you, it's about a foot off of the um off the top there, which I think is a nice height, gives you room in there as well. You've got to modify the um, the legs of it a little bit because it's used to being screwed to a, a plastic tub. If we can take this out the out the bag, right? We've got a couple of clips and a couple of bits there to go on. And um, we've got some other bit of plastic bit with a couple of self adhesive strips on, which is probably to when you stuck it onto the uh, onto the original onto the original base. So I'll put them screws aside. Yeah, that's the lid. Look at that. It's uh, it's really nice actually. I think the I'm not sure of the tape measures always go and walk about when I want one. 
I'll just give you a quick a quick look there of what there you go we've got 15 and a half inch span there so if you're working on the inside there you've got uh, 14 and three quarters there so that's the sort of width you've got to play with on those but I think they're fantastic and what I've done with that one I basically just grabbed the old pliers and I've just bent that little tab out like that on each side and then they've got the nice little flat bits there which will come straight down and fit onto your the side of your tank like it did up there which is great and then all we do is we get the uh, our little light out that's the little LEDs in there nice good length of cord on there and a little ballast there which you can hide anywhere I think you've probably got a good couple of metres of cord there so you've got the red LEDs in there and the white LEDs so you've got a good spectrum and you've got little on and off switches which run there just press that on and off so that's pretty cool and that now screws into there the screws just drop them inside and there's little screw holes inside that correspond to the screws holes in the light and they just screw into there now they couldn't have made a better little aquarium lamp to be honest and for 27 quid You're not going to go too too far wrong with these because they've been purposely built to grow plants and that's it and it's inside like that see i think that's great put all the instructions there don't need them i'm a bloke <laughs> i know what i'm doing and then well, I'm going, to do, I'm going to set you up on the other uh, tank now, further down the other end, and uh, we'll put it onto the uh, onto the tank and we'll, and we'll switch them off. Look, you don't. We're down the other end now, so we're going to put this on the tank. These legs do stretch out, and this tank's a little bit wider. But if you have to stretch it out a little bit, it's under tension a little bit more, and it really does hold on there nice and tightly. And it's a good foot. To, uh, 18 inches off the water which I like I prefer a light to be further off because you still get access to going in there like that and it looks oh, it looks pretty funky actually but for the money you can't go wrong so I'll switch it on and uh, we'll see what it's like there you go look at that absolutely brilliant if I turn the main shed lights off might be a bit better yeah, that little tank's doing really well now. I've moved a few shrimp around. There's still about 20 in there, hiding amongst the uh, amongst the back in and on that living wall that we did. You can see the ferns going a bit. The Java moss is going going mad, and the subwazer tank's growing up there nicely now. It's starting to to push out a bit. Even the old walnuts going a bit, going mad. Mm. I put some Subwaza Tang and some Java moss on there and a little bit of weeping moss as well. And that little filter system at the back there is working absolutely brilliantly. That water is pristine, it really is. It's keeping everything spot on, that's why I've replicated it for a spray bar. Obviously that's not, it's trickling through, it's doing the same principle though in the, uh, in the spray bar on the big tank next door which we're going to be doing hopefully Monday or Tuesday I'll get that one underway 
and we'll get that one working. Get it planted up, get the aquascape in and get it all looking nice. Now my little coffee plant can go back in his corner under his little grow lamp now and you'll like it under there. Yep, well happy with that guys. 27 quid. We could say 31 quid with the um, with the holder as well. And it looks quite funky I think. And if you ever get bored of that you can grow some lettuce with it. <laughs> yes. All happy now. They're all happy the little shrimps. Yeah, the little moss tank um, is doing well. I'll just show you that now. There you are, look at that. It's only day, day, uh, day three, I think day two or three now. You can see so much oxygen being produced. There's purling going on all over the place on the moss. More so on the sphagnum moss than the star moss. But you can see, you can see it drifting around in the current there. And it'll be really nice if that does take off and grow. I'm not expecting all of it to survive, but you never know. I'm going to keep it regular water changes and keep it as mint as I can, making sure I, uh, like I say, keep right up on top with the uh, with the water changes and make sure everything's okay. And then we'll see what happens. Now look, a couple of you guys put me onto that guy. I forget his name now. I think it's Michael or Mitchell. I'm not sure. Um, is it Langman? Or what? Oh, I think it is, something like that. But well, that was really interesting. Cheers for uh, putting me onto him. I see the way he was doing it in the um, in the jars and in the. I'm not sure if it was cut down coke bottles and different things like that. But it's good to do these little experiments. And um, I'll have to, to get in touch with him and find out if um, if he's had any more success with his. But it's very interesting stuff, and it looks absolutely fabulous. I think. Even the little, the little walnuts there need a haircut before long. That, that jar of moss is really starting to go up now. All the little shrimps are going loopy down now. Just throw in a few little little treats for them. I didn't feed them yesterday, so they can have a bit today, keep them going. There must be some little babies in there now, though, because I had quite a lot of those little, little tigers with berries on but uh, I can't see any with berries on now so they must be hiding in amongst the, the living wall at the back or on the on the sponge filter but it's good news about these plants all coming they can sit here now under that grow light in their little bag still they won't do any harm in there for a few days and um, and then we'll get that media from JPL they sent this point sent me two more bags of the pro of the pro scape plant soil which should be here any time probably maybe Monday or Tuesday hopefully and then we can put that in and we can start aquascaping the big tank which I'm really looking forward to getting into because I do love planting up aquascapes I've done quite a lot of them over the years and um, it never gets old it's the best part doing the hardscape and planting up getting the old tweezers out and making sure everything's set uh, and I'll take you through how to prep all these as well before we put them in So get your close up for this. You got a lot of tripod. Yeah, that water's just slightly, slightly off colour still. But with the next couple of water changes, that should be like. It should look like there's no water in there to be that clear. Anyway guys, I thought I'd do that one just for a little a little Sunday night one with these little lights that I came across. They had loads of LEDs down there, all different types. Like yeah, they've, they've got loads of different types down there. And it was quite nice to see um, the range of lighting down there that they had. They say some of the power ratings on these along these lights will grow will grow plants quite um will, will grow them quite well being um, daylight themed and all that sort of stuff. So 
you can just have a read on the box it will tell you the par ratings and different things to do a bit of study on that but these ones that we've got here under this tank those almond leaves have what coming up that water there level dude there you go a bit leveler but so um, yeah they're growing really well and with those lights now it's going to be really interesting now to see how they how they progress and how things grow anyway guys hope you like that little video it wasn't too too long for you i hope and um and you stuck around and watched it as always guys all stars thanks for tuning in the next couple of days time we should have the plants we've got the plants sorry we should have the the media should have come and um, I'm sorting out some other stone to put in the in the big tank and we're going to get aquascape in that. Anyway, look after yourselves, your stars, be safe and I'll see you on the next edition of Monster Classic. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.